Good evening, friends. Today, again, we will talk on an important subject. In any working place, in any workplace, when you are working and you are performing pretty well, there are certain factors which discourages you, which breaks your performance momentum. So today I am going to talk about those factors and their remedies. Breaking the, the title is Breaking the Performance and Breaking the Performance. So now in this, we will, the first point to remember is the punishment cycle. First thing to understand is the punishment cycle. Top performers, you see, the overachievers trap they call it, will surely fail with the overload of work, responsibilities and expectations. Unreasonable demands kills the joy and motivation and the smallest lapse is blown out of proportion and deemed as a performance issue. You must be noticing these factors oftenly in which, whichever workplace you are working. The irrational pressure ultimately it takes its toll both physically and mentally with affecting your productivity with rising stress and burnout while underperforming employees sit around and twiddle their thumbs. Remember that the performance sends the punishment. If you are subjected to performance punishment, you should not suffer. You can bring the situation back to normal. This is what the gist of my today's talk is. There is a remedy for this kind of situation too. Sit down and logically assess the state of affairs, the real situation, the cause of this kind of thing happening to you. There is nothing better than being the best. But you should not be punished for being the best. You should not be punished for the same. Use your talents more strategically so that you get space to grow with your achievements. Use your exalted position smartly to achieve your goals by negotiating to your for your perks, bonus and promotions. Manage the expectations of your boss by setting clear boundaries from the very beginning, from the start. Have your job description specified clearly and written word by word. You must also learn to say no very tactfully and back down on any extra work unnecessary of loaded on to you. Step away now and then get a breather. Clarify your position in an appropriate manner by stating your limits and limitations, your current commitments in an assertive manner. Explain how these extra work will, will affect your present work. How this will affect your performance. Weigh your options objectively before accepting demanding projects and lay out realistic plans. Always negotiate for more people, resource and reasonable deadlines. Just don't accept anything and everything and buy pressure on yourself. Discuss possible bottlenecks along with likely solutions. Anticipate things. What is going to happen? What it exactly demands? Then accordingly ask for resources and possible solutions. Think of every possible contingency in the, by the time in the fulfilling your tasks. 
request to delegate some work to managers in efficient manner. So the entire commitment is taken care of and the work distributed. Having a supportive family, your family, it really helps to ease the pressure, work pressure, tensions you have. Remember my friends, at time the best and the only strategy to move on and change, move on can be a change job. And you must know ultimately when to walk away if the situation becomes so grave. Ensure that everywhere you work, there will be unreasonable factors, situations of your boss, your peers, your subordinates, which will affect your performance. You got to be in harmony. It is, as they say in army, no battle is fought by individual chivalry skills. It is the when you all put together, you stand together and becomes an army, you can defeat anyone. While you see that your performance is not broken, see to it the work as a team and everybody performs best synergies achieved and institution gets benefited. Thank you very much. We shall continue. Jai Hind.